Welcome in to To Your Health. We are so thrilled today to have a new surgeon in town, Dr. Ben Kaysen. Ben, from you Montgomery. are from Montgomery Absolutely. and you come home and we are right. so happy to have you. Thank We're you. gonna talk a little bit today about the changes in surgery and they have come a long way and would you share some of that with us? Right, well, uh, you know, I, as we were talking about before, um, you know, things nowadays with surgery have moved from the traditional open operations to more of a minimally invasive approach, meaning mm -hmm. uh, we use either the laparoscope or nowadays people hear about the robot, um, which is just another tool to perform the same operation, but with a little bit better ergonomics and better uh, ability for us to see. Um, and we can do those operations without causing as much impact on the patient and they people recover much more quickly after these minimally invasive operations. So uh, an operation you take the, like a hernia repair that mm -hmm. would take several weeks for somebody to get over the pain and we have them not doing anything for several weeks to now, you know, they can leave the hospital and not take the first pain pill sometimes. Wow. And, Wonderful. Um, and there are still recovery periods. The body still has to heal, mm -hmm. but it gets you back into your normal life, back to work, back to doing what you want to do even faster. You know, and as we age, we, there are things that happen to us and we become more concerned about the fact that if I have this operation, I'm gonna be down for a while. Right. And who's gonna take care of me? But like you're saying, it's very simple where you can get, get up and going again. Right, yeah, you know, you take uh, somebody that comes in for, for one of those operations and they're down for a day or two while they get over the anesthetic and they have some, you know, minor aches and pains. But, you know, I, I tell family members all the time, by the end of a few days, you're going to be having to hold them back because you're going to want to get back to doing those things. And, Absolutely. And, and, and I don't want you messing up kind of what we did, but um, it, it's remarkable the, the advances that we've seen even over the last several years. Mm -hmm. Now, you practice primarily out of the Prattville area. That's right. But you're down in Montgomery also. That's right. So uh, recently, uh, Prattville Baptist Hospital has opened to more uh, surgical operations. We have a, uh, we do all of our outpatient operations up there. So oh. things from colonoscopies, mm. hernia repairs, gallbladder um, surgery, those kind of things we do all in the Prattville area. So for the people that don't want to drive across the river that live up in that area, the Millbrook, Prattville, Elmore sure. County, Tonga County people, they could stay up there. We could see them in office there and we could do their operations there. Mm -hmm. But we also, also have an office here in Montgomery where we do okay. our bigger operations at Baptist South where I have the full complement of every specialist you can think of um, you know, in case we need to do those bigger operations that require you to stay in the hospital for a few days. So it, it's kind of a, a full spectrum of a practice there. And normally your, uh, your normal general practice doctor is going to refer you to surgery that's, if you're going to need the surgery. That's right. Most yeah. of the time people come to my office uh, after their primary care doctor or uh, some other physician has recognized a surgical problem, whether it's a hernia or they've had a colonoscopy and they need something rem right. something removed, or mm -hmm. they're having reflux problems and they have gotten to the point that they need surgery for their reflux. They would come to me at that point. And then I would, if there's any other tests that need to be done, I can manage that and then move on to, if they need an operation, mm -hmm. we would then go, go forward and, with that. You know, everybody wants to say, yeah, I kind of need this, but I want to put it off. Right. Your advice to people, do not put it off because the earlier you can address the situation, the better off it's going to be and the better recovery. Is that not right? Right. For most things, for most things, if we recognize that surgery needs to happen, mm -hmm. we want to go ahead and get it done bec before it causes a major problem. Uh, there are certain conditions that we can put off for a little while. Uh, but things like gallbladder disease and things, typically those don't get better on their own. Right. And the chances yes. for something like that causing another problem down the road is the reason why we go ahead and do the surgery while it's kind of, so with gallbladder disease, people have inflammation and gallbladder attacks. Mm -hmm. And those are the times where it's a little tougher to do, the recovery is a little bit harder. Well, if we can catch it between the attacks, it's an outpatient procedure, come in, do a 30 minute operation, you go home that day. Wow. Whereas if it's inflamed, sometimes mm -hmm. it's a three or four day hospital stay, there's mm -hmm. antibiotics, there's all sorts right. of things. So right. yes, most of the time, yeah. if we recognize a surgical problem, we Nip want to go in the bud. That's correct. Well, welcome home. We're glad you're We're back so here. Glad. We're look forward to you being with us yeah. a long time. Yeah. You remember this, it used to be surgery meant days. Now it can mean hours. We'll so. be right back right after this.